Still going strong. So be careful it doesn't collide with the side of anything. There's a lot of thrust going on right now. That is not full power, by the way. As you can see, the stick has gone up only about three clicks. Four clicks. I know the digital readout of the RPM does fluctuate a little bit. That might be just something in the software, maybe the sensor. But it stays pretty stable. Once in a while there is a glitchy increase. The alarm should go off any second now. Showing over temperature. Let's see how that works. 130 has been reached. Hmm. Maybe I didn't program that in there properly. Because that was where I wanted it to be. I think. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll have to redo that programming. No big deal. There it is. There it is. Max motor temperature over 131. Got to be 131 over. Going to decrease temperature now by reducing engine power. Way down to 76 now, nice and slow. Hope my audio is coming through. I'm not sure, but uh, we still got 103. We still got a high temperature warning. Elapsed time has been. 14 minutes. It just took 14, less than 14 minutes for it to get pretty hot. This is with the with the water cooling disconnected. Well, actually, it's clipped off. Actually, it has a clamp on it on the tubes where I showed you where the pump is. See, already it's starting to go down because I'm going slower. With water cooling, it would never get that hot to begin with or warm, however you want to put it, and um, it would uh, would matter virtually very little how much power I gave it. It would still be quite good. Back to RPM. This test will conclude in very shortly. To, to uh, have two videos of the same thing. Test will now conclude.